I once found myself in a relationship that seemed perfect, too good to be true. I was swept off my feet by the charm, the charisma, the attention. It was intoxicating. But as time went on, I began to notice a pattern. A constant need for admiration, a lack of empathy, an unyielding demand for control. The person I thought I knew began to unravel, revealing a manipulative nature that was always there, hidden beneath the surface. Looking back, there were signs, signs that I missed, signs that I chose to ignore, promises that were never kept, boundaries that were constantly pushed, criticisms that were masked as jokes. There were moments of clarity where the truth of the narcissistic traits became too hard to ignore. The realization was a bitter pill to swallow. It was a painful journey, one that cost me a lot, especially my trust in relationships. Narcissism isn't just about vanity or self-obsession, it's much more complex. To truly understand narcissism, we must delve deep into the realms of psychology. At its core, narcissism is a personality disorder that is characterized by an inflated sense of self-importance, a deep need for excessive attention and admiration, and a lack of empathy for others. But behind this mask of extreme confidence lies a fragile self-esteem that's vulnerable to even the slightest criticism. Now let's discuss the psychological roots of narcissism. It often stems from childhood experiences where the individual either received excessive admiration without any realistic feedback or conversely endured excessive criticism. Over time, these experiences can lead to the development of a narcissistic personality. So how does narcissism manifest in relationships? Well, a narcissist's main goal is to maintain their inflated self-image and they'll often manipulate their partners to achieve this. The narcissist may belittle their partner, gaslight them or twist reality to make themselves seem superior. They are often charming and charismatic, making it difficult for their partners to recognize the manipulation. This brings us to the traits of a narcissist. They often exhibit a sense of entitlement, requiring constant excessive admiration. They have a tendency to exaggerate their achievements and talents, expecting to be recognized as superior without commensurate achievements. They are preoccupied with fantasies about success, power, brilliance, beauty or the perfect mate. They monopolize conversations and belittle or look down on people they perceive as inferior. They have an inability or unwillingness to recognize the needs and feelings of others and they have a propensity for envy, believing others envy them. Recognizing these traits can be challenging, especially when you're in the throes of a relationship with a narcissist. But awareness is key. Understanding the nature of narcissism, its roots, and how it manifests can provide us with the tools to identify and protect ourselves from such toxic relationships. Recognizing these signs is the first step towards protecting ourselves from narcissistic relationships. Jane, a successful lawyer, fell in love with John, an equally successful investment banker. Their story began like many others. Two ambitious individuals thriving in their respective careers, crossing paths in a bustling city, and finding a connection that seemed to be the perfect match. Jane, with her sharp wit and compassionate heart, and John, charming, charismatic, and seemingly caring. In the beginning, their relationship was picture perfect. They were the couple that everyone admired, the couple that seemed to have it all. However, beneath the surface, things were far from perfect. It started subtly, almost imperceptibly. John began to manipulate Jane slowly and methodically, chipping away at her confidence and self-esteem. It began with small comments, veiled as jokes or constructive criticism. Jane, always the peacemaker, brushed them off and attributed them to John's high-stress job. However, these comments gradually escalated into a pattern of constant belittlement and gaslighting. John would dismiss Jane's feelings, distort her reality, and make her question her own judgment. He was an artist in the craft of deception and manipulation, painting himself as the victim and Jane as the unreasonable one. The emotional abuse was subtle but constant. It was like a slow drip of poison barely noticeable at first, but over time it began to corrode the foundation of their relationship. John's narcissistic tendencies became more evident. He was always right, never apologizing, never admitting fault. Everything was about him, his feelings, his needs, his successes. Jane's achievements were belittled, her feelings invalidated, her needs ignored. 
The once confident lawyer began to lose herself, her world reduced to John's whims and desires. Trust, the bedrock of their relationship, was systematically destroyed. Jane found herself constantly walking on eggshells, afraid to voice her opinions or feelings for fear of John's retaliation. She began to question her own worth her own sanity. The emotional toll was immense. The man she loved, the man she trusted, was slowly tearing her down piece by piece. It took a long time for Jane to recognize what was happening. Narcissism, after all, is a master of disguise, adept at concealing its true nature behind a mask of charm and charisma. But once she did, she realized the extent of the damage. The trust she had placed in John was shattered, replaced by a painful understanding of the emotional abuse she had endured. Jane's story is a stark reminder of how narcissism can erode trust in relationships. It's a cautionary tale of how the most damaging abuse can often be the one that's hardest to see. It's a testament to the resilience of those who endure such relationships and a call to action for all of us to educate ourselves about the signs of narcissistic abuse. For trust, once broken, is not easily restored and the scars left behind can last a lifetime. The damage caused by narcissistic relationships goes beyond the immediate emotional pain. It's a silent storm that brews within, leaving a trail of destruction long after the relationship has ended. The impact is immense, reaching deep into the heart of the victim's self-esteem, trust and potential for future healthy relationships. Imagine a mirror. This mirror represents your self-esteem, but in a narcissistic relationship that mirror is constantly distorted, twisted and manipulated. You're led to believe that you're not enough, that you're always wrong. Over time, this mirror becomes so warped, you can no longer recognize your own reflection. You start doubting your worth, your abilities, your very essence. Trust, an essential cornerstone of any relationship, is also eroded. The narcissist's constant lying, manipulation and gaslighting can make you question your perception of reality. It's like walking through a maze with shifting walls, never knowing what's real and what's an illusion. This Loss of trust isn't limited to the narcissist. It can seep into your future relationships, making it difficult to trust others and, ironically, even yourself. Then there's the potential for future healthy relationships. After surviving a narcissistic relationship, the idea of entering into another relationship can be daunting. The fear of reliving the same pain, the same manipulation, the same loss can hold you back. It's like having a wound that never fully heals, ready to bleed at the slightest touch, but it's important to recognize these effects, to understand that they are not reflections of your worth, but rather the aftermath of a narcissistic storm. It's crucial to remember that it's okay to seek help, to reach out to professionals, friends and support groups. It's okay to take your time to heal, to rebuild your self-esteem, to relearn trust. The scars from a narcissistic relationship can run deep, but understanding and addressing them is the first step towards healing. The road to rebuilding trust after a narcissistic relationship is not easy, but it's possible. The first step is recognizing the damage that the relationship has caused. This can be a difficult process, but it's an important one. You may have been manipulated to doubt your own thoughts and feelings, a common tactic used by narcissists. Acknowledging the manipulation and the hurt it caused is a crucial part of moving forward. Yet self-acknowledgement alone is not enough. Seeking professional help can be instrumental in the healing process. Therapists and counselors with experience in narcissistic abuse can provide guidance and tools to help you navigate your emotions, validate your experiences and reclaim your self-worth. Remember, it's okay to ask for help. Self-care is another vital part of rebuilding trust. This might mean taking time for activities you love, practicing mindfulness, or simply allowing yourself to rest. It's about re-establishing your identity outside of the narcissistic relationship and learning to prioritize your own needs again. Establishing boundaries in future relationships is also key. This involves clearly defining what is acceptable behavior and what isn't. It's about asserting your self-worth and refusing to accept less than you deserve. Learning to set and enforce healthy boundaries can help protect you from future manipulation and abuse. Lastly, remember that healing takes time. It's a process filled with ups and downs, and that's okay. It's important to be patient with yourself and give yourself grace during this time. Recovering from a narcissistic relationship is not a linear journey, but each step forward, no matter how small, is a victory. You are not alone in this journey. 
There are resources and communities out there who understand your experience and are ready to offer support. Remember, it's not your fault. You can rebuild trust, reclaim your life and find love again after a narcissistic relationship.